Hi, we are in group 2. Now we are going to show you a less than 5 minute video about the timeline of the information age. Starting in the year 3000 BC, the Sumerian writing system used spectrograph to represent words. In 2900 BC, there were the beginnings of Egyptian hieroglyphic writing. Hieroglyphs combined logographics, syllabic, and alphabetic element with some 1000 distinct characters. In 1300 BC, tortoise and oracle bone writing were used, and the words were inscribed with knives. In 500 BC, papyrus rules were used. Papyrus is made from the stem of the papyrus plant which is related to the grass family. In 220 BC, Chinese mule seal writing was developed. In 100 AD, a book parchment codex was introduced consisting of one or more quires of sheets of papyrus or parchment folded together to form a group of leaves or pages. In 105, the Chinese invented woodblock printing and paper. On 1455, Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press using movable metal type. On 1755, Samuel Johnson's dictionary standardized English spelling. On 1802, the Library of Congress was established and the carbon arc lamp was invented. On 1824, Research on Persistence of Vision published, and during 1830s, the first viable design for a digital computer happened here, and Augusta Lady Byron writes the world's first computer program. And on 1837, it was the invention of the telegraph in Great Britain and the United States. In 1861, motion pictures were projected onto a screen by Paul and Ramirez. On 1876, the way this small system was introduced, it is a classification system used by libraries to arrange books via subjects. On 1877, Edward Murray Bridge demonstrated the high-speed photography. On 1899, the first magnetic recording were released. On 1902, motion picture special effects were used. On 1906, Lee DeForest invented the electronic amplifying tube or the triad. On 1923, the television camera tube was invented by Zon King. In 1926 was the incorporation of sound to films, giving it life. These were called sound films then. It continually improved in 1939 when there was regularly scheduled television broadcasting in the U.S. For the following year was the beginnings of information science as a discipline, academic discipline that leads to scientific knowledge by the use of a scientific method. Then five years later, Vannevar Bush foresaw the invention of hypertext. Hypertext is a text which contains links to other texts. This contributed to the development of ENAC computer in the year that follows. Moreover, in 1948, the birth of field information theory was proposed by Claude E. Shannon. In 1957, planar transistors were developed by Jen Horney. These build individual components of a transistor and in turn connect those transistors together. On September 12, 1958, Jack Kilby, a TI engineer, invented the integrated circuit. The Library of Congress developed MARC in the 1960s. Unix is a multi-user, multitasking operating system that was developed by Bell Laboratories in 1969. The first microchip was created in January 1971 by a team of logic architects and silicon engineers, who is Federico Fagin, Marcian Hoff, Stanley Mazur, and Masatoshi. MCA Philips developed laser technology for distributing consumer movies. Philips and MCA decided to join forces on in September 1974 and together developed the optical disc. 1975 Alter Micro Computer Kit was released first personal computer for the public. 1977 Radio Shack introduced the first complete personal computer. 1984, Apple Macintosh computer was introduced. Mid-90s, artificial intelligence was separated from information science. 1987, HyperCard was developed by Bill Atkinson, received box metaphor. 1991, 450 complete works of literature on one CD-ROM was released. January 1997, RSA encryption and network security software, internet security code crack for a 48-bit number.